Okay, so at the heart of it, we have the Ten of Swords, which is um, the end of a cycle. And it could be a cycle that we, you, um, once again, kind of like eclipses, you weren't ready to let go of, but it's time to let go of. It's kind of death and rebirth. Um, so it can be a painful letting go, but it's for your best interest. It can also be um, that you're refusing to let go, even though it's time to do so. And so that's why it's so painful, is you're extending the pain longer than it really needs to be. Which I think actually it, it might be closer to that just because we have the Eight of Swords right here as um, the foundation and energy that's being brought in from September. So Eight of Swords is, you know, a card of denial. It's a card of not accepting where we are at this point in time, um, not seeing what's around us, um, putting uh, self-imposed shackles on ourselves. Um, so, the, you know, we're bringing that kind of energy in. And the thing about the Eight of Swords is it's so easy to get out of it. You know, it's so easy to let go and break the shackles. But we're refusing to. I mean, it's just this pretty little sash. How easy would it be to scooch out of that? So cancers, that that's gonna be that's gonna be a challenge for October is recognizing the, that a lot of the challenges that we're putting on ourselves um, are self-imposed and that we can actually let go of them easier than we we uh, think we can. So crossing us is the the universe, also known as the world. Um, so you know this is um, you know what this is such a this is beautiful. This is just absolutely beautiful, Cancer. So here we are at the end of this cycle. It's been painful. It's been really, really hard. And here we have the world. So, you know, it's kind of like what I love about this is like, look at it this way. Okay. The world is above this broken body, this broken, this broken soul. So once we take out those swords, once we let go of that pain, when we turn over and we look up, we have the world above us. So there is hope. There is this this joy of a future that is just above us. But it's, I mean, we are in pain. We are hurt. And a lot of us are. Not just cancers, but a lot of different signs are going through this too. Um, but it's just taking that first step to getting out of it because as soon as you start taking the steps the world will respond the universe will respond the universe will provide for you and help you step out of that and i think it's uh, once again like over here with my general readings i don't do reversals because there's enough cards in the deck to acknowledge all the different um aspects of our life, especially when they are next to different cards. There's just infinite possibilities with, with cards, even when they're just in their, their, their upright position. But this card came out, the unconscious came out, also known as the hangman, um, came out in reverse. And so I just decided to leave it that way. Um, so it really it really comes close with the eight of swords of not acknowledging your spirit self not acknowledging that um that power that strength that you had um in, in september like you were you might have not been eating right you might not have been doing your spiritual practices even though you you felt compelled to you just didn't do it um you knew that there was a path that you needed to take. You just didn't do it. You were busy. Things were going on. Things were tough. So this is a time, this is a transition. And here we have the Ace of Wands in the future, which is perfect. Ace of Wands, fire energy um, of spirit, of soul, of vigor, of get things done, of move forward, let's go. Yeah, so because of... And, and maybe this was like a mulling over of like, you know what, you were just too tired from the things that have come up. Um, you were just too tired and you couldn't do what you needed to do. But now you're getting a new start. You're getting a new fresh start. And 
And so it's really important to enact that spirituality because it, it will definitely take you uh, where you want to go. And that's what the Knight of Swords, like I feel like this is spirit. This is Source talking to you. Knight of Swords. Sending in the cavalry to help you out. Okay, it's like the swords, like, because it's all in your head, you know, it's all in your mind, this, this pain and treachery that, that we're creating. And yes, there are definitely things that are going on outside of ourselves that we do not have control of, but how we react to it, we do. That is where we can, we can control. And so the Knight of Swords, I feel like, is the spiritual cav cavalry coming into your mind and saying, okay, let's clean up shop. Let's get this taken care of. Um, so you might be receiving a message that surprises you um, that you never thought could happen, you know, in your mind. It could be a, a, a very mind mindful thing. Um, swords are air signs, so that's um, Libra, Aquarius, um, and who am I missing, everyone? Libra and Gemini. So it, communication, you, a lot of times when it's the Knight of Swords, it's a message through um, telephone. It's a message through talking with friends, um, you know, talking within a group, um, you know, Facebooking, things like that. So pay attention to those types of messages that you are getting. So in the night um, above is the Nine of Cups. So this is, you know, being full and having, um, you know, what you want and what you need. And, and it's, it's also, some people call it like, like a wish card. And, um, and yeah, I do. I do think that like with the world here, it definitely could be. So be careful of your intentions. Be careful of what you want. Be very clear about where you're going and what you want to happen because there's a good chance that it could happen. And if it does happen, um, make sure that you stay um, in a healthy space, in a mindful space, in a humble space. This is warning of being a little um, boastful over situations that are happening. Um, there's a difference between being grateful and boasting about what we what we're doing. So just you know that fine line sometimes can um, we can teeter on that. But this is a this is a nice card to have here, you know, of getting the things that you need and the things that you want. Um, and I feel like I I, I feel like this is um, this is because of the journey that you have been going on. Like it feels like September was a pretty tough month and you just, it was hard to deal with all the different aspects of it. But there, this is like a turn in the corner cancer. Um, and, and you know what, you, you do definitely feel like there's a lot of fires that you have to put out, battles that you have to fight. And, um, you know, all day long today, I've been getting this quote in my head. And if you know who said it, please let me know. But uh, if you don't have any enemies, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so, you know, that's not saying to make enemies. But what it is saying is, if you are in your authentic self, and if you are doing what is truly your path and your, your joy and your bliss, and you are giving that truly to the world, not everyone's going to like it. And that's okay. Because you are not here to please everyone, Cancer. You are not. You are not here to make everyone feel comfortable. You are here with a very clear intention and reason. And when you find that, the people who need that will come to you. And if people turn you away, and if people say what you're doing isn't worthwhile, then let them go because you are not part of their path at this time and that is okay <clears throat> so then we have the ten of cups here the universe wants to give this to you you know the, the they want to give you that joy they want to give you that bliss so I feel like, you know, people will be coming into your life, whether it be friends, whether it be romantic, whether, you know, it be through work that just 
help you find contentment in your life so that you can be in a really good place to continue on this this spiritual path on this this road that needs to happen for a new beginning um, because I know cancers you need that you need to have that security you need to have that space where you know you are going to be okay before you can even think of doing doing anything really and the universe is going to help provide that sources here with you I mean we literally have the universe in your card crossing you and so and I I think it's not like that the universe is in a negative situation for you it's not like giving you hard knocks just because it's giving you hard knocks because you haven't been paying attention so and it's actually this beautiful beautiful world that wants to be created but you need to look up you need to take the shackles off and then as soon as you return back to source and when you return back to gratefulness and the joy in your heart the universe will provide and your hopes and fears is that the universe will not provide that they that you know no one has your back that you feel alone that you are doing this on your own you know this is like and all you want is someone there you know all you want is to be loved cancer I see that I definitely do see that um, you know you want the companionship you want the friends around you and you've isolated yourself a little bit but keep keep working on letting go of those shackles because there are so many people here so many energies here that want to help you out whether you can see them or not don't be afraid don't do things just because of fear of not getting them okay does that make sense don't stop with what you're doing because you're afraid that you won't get to your destination you'll get there you'll get there absolutely you'll get there we have the two of wands okay two of wands pondering what's out there going forth further being solid in your foundation but ready to move on to what's next this is a lovely card you know and looking right up over right up over the horizon here looking past the cups you know past this this um you know it, there's even more than just your emotions this is spirit saying yes i fulfilled you emotionally and now let's go further okay let's call on oh also this deck is the illuminated tarot by carol hertzer so now we're going to call on spirit we're going to call on our angels Angels, what added guidance do you have for Cancer for October? Okay, let's see. It's this one. Shield yourself. How interesting. Shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Let me read that one more time to you because that was on point. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Okay? Isn't that beautiful? This is exactly what this reading is all about. Is that you are starting, you, you have been in this kind of possibly angry, confused, um, just not looking to your, your highest of, of vibrations. You know, possibly eating lots of fast food, um, watching things that aren't helpful, too much news, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world. Um, you know, saturating yourself with depression and the world is saying, wanting to pull you out of it. 
and start a whole new process. And the only way you can do that is if you shield yourself with healing and light and love and self, um, you know, take care of yourself. Okay, so, you know, do practices for your welfare, for your, for your benefit. Um, take care of yourself, okay? And if you start to take care of yourself, things will open up. 